Hello there, Dominic here with a second video about customizing your Modo interface. First of all, I wanted to tell you that Brad Biebler has made a video, a couple of videos about keyboard shortcuts. They're called Keyboard Shortcuts 201 and Keyboard Shortcuts 201-02 and they are on Luxella GTV. They're about Modo 201, but they're still relevant in Modo 601 and if you want to customize your interface, I suggest you also check these videos out on Luxella GTV. Now, in the second uh, video, Brad talks about mapping uh, to a key, uh, changing your panels and mapping that to a key. Now, what do I mean? Uh, let me give you an example. I'm going to add a new viewport over here. So I click on the plus sign next to that tab, go to application and add a viewport group. I'm going to set it to, for instance, a 3D edit model quad view. So now I have one big modeling viewport. When I press zero over one of the viewports, it gets enlarged and with control space, you can go to the top view and to your right view or back to your perspective view. So I, also, I always like to have the model quad view because when you press the zero key, it's easy to go to a large view and a, and a small and a quad view. Now you have several options to go to your tools, for instance. You can crawl, uh, press Ctrl 3 and then you get a pie menu, for instance tools, and then you can uh, select your tools like that, but when you hover away from it, it disappears again. So I prefer to use the F keys, for instance F2 gets me my model panel and now this, when I hover away from it, it stays like that. So when I'm ho hovering over the perspective view, zero, I have a big perspective view, uh, like that, and I can model like that, and this panel stays. When I press F3, I get my sculpt uh, tools, and I press F2 again, I have both model and sculpt, um, F4, my animate tools, like that, F5, command history, and F6, presets, and all of that. And there's another way that Brad shows in the videos. Now I'm going to show you by going back to the model quad and first expanding my command history like that to show you what he show what Brad shows in the video. Going to layout in the menu and going to choose a new window. You can also choose a new palette, but with the new palette you don't get these icons over here. These are handy if you want to minimize it. Now it's uh, disappeared from my recording screen. So when you click it, it maximizes. When you click it, it minimizes again, which is handy. So maximize it. Click or right click on the little triangle in the upper right corner and set it to, for instance, model tools. Now in my command history, my last command is actually the command for setting a panel to model tools and with this selected right click on it and map the command to a key and I'm going to press for instance Control alt q now I already have assigned to it so it says assigned to but I'm going to click OK and it says yeah, it's assigned OK so now that command is mapped to a key and again I'm going to change this to for instance data lists item list select my last command in the command history, right click, map command to a key and press for instance control alt shift q and again this already was assigned but I'm going to click ok ok so now those two panels have been mapped to a key and when I press control alt q you see I get my model tools, control alt shift q and I get my item list now I'm going to minimize this you have to be careful when you do this over another viewport, like perspective viewport, now when I press Ctrl Alt Q, it also changes. And that's not something uh, you would want. You see, it has changed. Now I can set it back. That's not that much of a deal. So 3D model view. I get my perspective back like that. But most of the time, make sure that you're hovering over a panel when you set these keys to make sure that it is the right panel. So now when I go my big screen like that and I can resize my window so I can minimize it drag it over here 
like that maximize it and minimize it like that press 0 to go to my big screen I can model and, and do uh, different things when I press Control alt q I get my modo tools like that but of course you see I have no properties so in order to get the properties panel you also will have to map that to a key uh, control alt shift q and I have my item lists like that and I can minimize it so different ways to customize your modo interface personally I prefer the layout that I showed you in the previous customizing video but I just wanted to show you this it can be useful to create your own shortcuts for a certain panel like that so when you change a panel with the little triangle that change gets recorded in your command history select it right click on it map it to a key and then when you hover over a panel then it gets changed so now I'm over here it says snapping now control sh alt shift Q and you see I have my item list here control alt Q and I have my modo tools over here so that's another way that you can customize your modo interface and if you map all those different panels like I showed you to a key you can have for instance one panel like this over here delete all these or like I showed you in the previous video create a new viewport group with a panel over here and when, when you use your shortcut keys you can have your panels over here like that I uh, hope it makes some sense uh, and uh, hope it's useful to you and this was Dominic and bye for now